briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1888, the Vermont Supreme Court heard the case of Murphy v. Bolger, which dealt with the dispute between two landowners over a roof projection extending 16 inches over the plaintiff's land. The plaintiff argued that the defendant's intrusion violated their property rights and sought an ejectment action to have the roof projection removed. The primary question the court needed to address was whether the projection constituted an ouster, which would warrant an ejectment action, or merely a nuisance, which would call for a different legal solution. To clarify, an ejectment action is only applicable for recovering possession of corporal hereditaments or tangible property that can be physically delivered by the sheriff, whereas a nuisance action deals with interference with the enjoyment of one's land. Ultimately, the court ruled in favor of the plaintiff determining that the roof projection did indeed constitute an ouster of possession. As a result, the sheriff was authorized to deliver possession of the plaintiff's land back to them by removing the defendant's roof projection. The decision of the lower court, which did not question the sufficiency of the plaintiff's declaration, was affirmed by the higher court. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class. 